need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. As we saw in the previous lesson, you can use the resource usage view of your project file to examine resource allocation. You can make manual adjustments to the overallocated work resource to ensure it remains fully allocated based on the units of work available. In addition to manually correcting overallocated resources, you can automatically level overallocated resources in Microsoft Project. When you automatically level resource overallocations, Microsoft Project will either delay the start times of tasks, delay the work resource assignments for a task, or split task durations in order to resolve the conflicts. It will not change task assignments or unit values of the assignments. If you wish to resolve resource overallocation by assigning additional work resources, you must do that manually. To set the parameters used to automatically resolve resource over allocations, click the Leveling Options button that appears in the Level button group on the Resource tab in the ribbon to open the Resource Leveling dialog box. This dialog box allows you to control the processes and guidelines Microsoft Project will use when performing resource leveling. Note that the settings that you make here will be applied to all project files, not just the currently selected project file. For this reason, it is recommended that you do not select the automatic choice within the resource leveling dialog box, as that will apply resource leveling to all project files, whether you want it to or not, which can cause more problems than it corrects. Leave the manual option shown in the leveling calculations section selected to allow for resource leveling only when you select to apply it. Next, use the Look for Over Allocations on a dropdown to select the basis to be used for resource over allocation examination. Note that choosing a level of inspection that is finer than a day by day basis may result in many unnecessary adjustments to the work schedule, so use care if selecting a level of inspection that's finer than the day by day basis. Next, decide whether or not you wish to remove any leveling adjustments before applying the new leveling. If you wish to clear old leveling adjustments before applying the leveling adjustments that you're about to create, then leave the Clear Leveling Values Before Leveling checkbox checked. Next, in the Leveling Range 4 section, you can set the specific range of leveling to use within this project file. If you wish to level the whole project, then leave the Level Entire Project option selected. Otherwise, you can use the From and To drop-downs to select the range within the project file to inspect. You next choose the guidelines to use for leveling from the choices shown in the Resolving Over Allocation section of the Resource Leveling dialog box. For most projects, ensure that the standard choice is selected from the Leveling Order drop-down. This resource leveling method respects the task relationships between the tasks in your project file and is therefore the most commonly used. Next, if you want to allow the leveling to only use the available free Slack within the project file, then select the Level Only Within Available Slack checkbox. This choice is most often unchecked to allow Microsoft Project to extend the finish dates of the project to resolve over allocations. Often, there is not enough free slack in a project file to allow for resolution of over allocated resources without extending the finish date. You can check the Leveling Can Adjust Individual Assignments on a Task checkbox to allow Project the ability to add leveling delay to individual work resource assignments on a task independently of the other assigned work resources. You can check the Leveling Can Create Splits in Remaining Work checkbox to allow Project to split a task or work assignment on a task to resolve resource over allocation. 
if you're using Microsoft Project Professional. You may also see a level resources with the proposed booking type checkbox. You will most often leave this checkbox cleared when leveling resources. You can also check the Level Manually Scheduled Tasks checkbox to include manually scheduled tasks in the leveling process within this project file. Next, click the Level All button when you're ready to level the entire project file. Doing this corresponds to clicking the Level All button that appears within the Level button group on the Resource tab in the ribbon. Also note that you can click the Level Selection and Level Resource buttons within this same button group to level a selected task or resource within your project file to manually level resources one at a time. If you decide to manually level each resource or task individually within a project file, you can also use the Next Over Allocation button within this button group to select the next resource over allocation to resolve. You can also clear a resource leveling that you have applied by clicking the Clear Leveling button within this button group. When you do this, a Clear Leveling dialog box will appear where you can choose either the entire project or the selected tasks. Simply make your choice and then click the OK button to remove resource leveling that you've applied. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.